Hitting the dash, throwing the numbers, that shit is so fast Spending the cash, throwing that money, we making it back Ice VVs, next I like the closet, the closet's the same The closet's definitely the same I think after I'm done mine, I think I wanna do this one You wanna do him up? Bro, look at the view I love looking at construction sites I love looking at construction sites But if you go to the other side, you're going to have partial view. Partial view. That's the better. So you, know, you put like a little, like on a sofa, like a sofa, and you put a layout bed, like a, so like a, a futon. So I wanted it's basically two bed, two. You know what I'm saying? Where's the second bathroom at? It's the paramount. Come to the balcony with me. Hey, look at that court. Uh, one and a den. So basically, it's only like one bedroom and a den. So like a shade of power. They're going up by themselves. That's fine. It's a, it's a blackout one too. It's a blackout one behind it. Do the fucking view. Shit, man. Nope. 
Jesus, bro, this is nice. Well, this is the best one I knew out of all three. God damn! This is dirt. Yo, they put the iron. That's a jump to that one right there. Yeah, the island is popping, dude. That's the one you take sky at. Not the best start to our day. You see the title and thumbnail of the video. Check out like came on to the uh, to the vet. I already know why, guys. I explain a little later when we get to the dealership. But we're a little we're running a little late. We get a little cold. And what you mean, bro? I thought I could do this with them saying. Come on, bro. Act my head acting crazy. Last time you did it once and then once. Doesn't even matter, guys. Be shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting started. Cool start. With this car, I didn't know. I should have did a little bit more of my research. Um, the 2017s, even though this year has 3,000 miles and this car is still brand new, it came with a oh, heat soaking problem. So I'm gonna go to dealership and see what they can do about it. I did research and dealerships had nothing, like they didn't give a f and they, didn't, they don't care. GM actually doesn't care at all. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna roll with the punches, but I'm gonna see if I can get something done. There's two ways I can get this fixed. I can get a, a, a better cooling system, which is almost like four Gs. Which is fine. I don't want to spend four grand on just the cooling system, but if I have to do it, I'm gonna do it. I love the car. Um, you know, it only happens when I'm like beating the car for like 10, 15, like 20 minutes, Randy. Not even like 10 minutes. And if and, and the, you know, you know what's the problem? The the what is it? The anti cooler? The AC? I'm oh gonna that's the AC. Well, the, the car just revs way too fucking high. First that, off, that's one. The car literally it's revs. Only when it's so automatic. Crazy. When it's automatic, it happens. And um, even when I'm on, even on paddles, I was on paddles yesterday and it happened again. I was revving it out high and it happened again. But um, the, the the cooling system kicks in at 190, right? Yeah, 190 degrees. 190 degrees. This car overheats at like 250. So if the car is already at 200, 220, the car is already running super hot. It's boiling, guys. So that's the problem with the car. You know what I'm saying? The, it, it's, it's not that the car showed me lemon, literally. The dealership, I'm at GM, fucking messed up, literally. Chevrolet messed up, and I'm gonna go see what they can do about it. So let's see, you know, fourth day owning the car, check engine light comes on, let's see what happens. We're gonna head to the dealership now. Come on, let's roll out. I know you guys been missing in the Subi Cold Star too. We got you. Yeah, it's like when I'm turning, and I turn forward, you can do it yourself, but you're gonna hit click, 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 yeah, click, click. I YouTube that shit too. Yeah, we'll take care of it. Yeah. It's gotta be rolling. Yeah, it's gonna be rolling. Yeah, bring it forward. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Also, I'll take care of it. They know it's a problem. They, I mean, they already know. It's a no problem with the vets. I even YouTube it with the clicking. God damn, that bitch looks so good. Bro, you gotta see it rolling on the highway. Literally just popped the hood right now just to make sure everything is good, make sure everything is intact. And I didn't know that the previous owner, because it has one owner before me, the previous owner put a cannon intake on here that is actually carbon fiber. Wanna zoom into it, bro? That's insane. I didn't even notice. So save you a few hundred dollars. That's real carbon too, bro. Yeah, it is real carbon. That's real carbon. We just need that that temp thing. Bro, that's all it is. So basically, I'm gonna we're, we're gonna see what he says when I come back and pick up the car. But 
I already know what it is. It's overheating because, you know, we said it earlier, it's kicking on way too late. You know, the, the cooling system's kicking on way too late. I like how big this engine is, bro. It's huge. It's huge, bro. Was it a 6.2? It, Six. It's a, it's a 6.2 um, LT4 fucking supercharged. So it's a big it's a big engine, bro. So I don't understand why they did that. But hopefully they figure something out, which I 99.9% .9 think they're not going to figure anything out. As long as they can fix my ticking and I can ask the manager, like, listen, he keeps doing this. I know I'm going to have to keep coming back and coming back. I already know. So... I'm gonna see if I can do the um the mod for the um see if I can do the mod for the um the uh, coolant the coolant and see if it'll stay under warranty. So that's something we're gonna have to agree on for that. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what's up. But carbon can and intake, which is super dope. I'm super excited about that. That saved me like 300, 400 bucks. Like that's probably more than that. Because it's carbon. Yeah. Yeah, that's super dope. Right? It looks insane though. It looks crazy. We should, we should search up how much that shit costs. Yeah, we, we should. We should do that. But let's get out of here. Let's go play with Fatty because the check-in line came on. It is what it is. But Fatty was driving the Audi yesterday. You've seen him yesterday's vlog. So what we're going to do is we're going to go home and blame him and tell him he did. What I'm going to do is Fatty's on the couch. I walked in. But I had the great camera real quick. Make sure it was all set up. So he knows I went to the dealership. I'm going to tell him that he broke the car while he was driving yesterday. The check-in line came on. So let's see what happens. Let's see what he says. Come on. Hey, so I just took. <laughs> what? I gotta have a serious conversation with you, bro. Right. One, stop leaving the juices on my couch. One, that's one. Two, turn your phone off real quick, bro. Two, turn my phone off. You remember how I let you drive the vet yesterday? <laughs> yeah. Why are you laughing? Cause you like the play too much, so let's see if this is serious. Go ahead. You know I let you drive the vet yesterday. Uh huh. Why are you laughing? Like this is a joke. Guys, <laughs> I can't see this. What? Like. The check ends on his own. <laughs> I can't pay for that. You know that. <laughs> so, I but, don't know what you gonna do. You know, they read they, they read the computer and they said the time that it happened when you were driving it. That makes no sense. You can't you can't read the time off yes, the you can. <laughs> you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But the ECU tells you everything, bro. Yeah, the ECU bro. tells you everything, All right, bro. okay. You broke it. So, what do you want me to do? You wanted me to let you drive that car. Okay, and? Now you gotta pay for to fix it. I can't pay for it. I'm broke. Nah, you just bought off white sneakers. So you can return those. That's not return, enough money. Return your sandals. I don't know, bro. The fix is $3,000. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to tell you, Pop. I'm going to keep listening to my music on my phone. You, Daddy, you messed was, up, bro. You better sell this shit, too. <laughs> no, it's already cracked. Nobody's going to buy it. <laughs> you need to fix this car. I, I, you did it. I can't. You did it. My phone was broke as your car. You never drove my car again. Listen, bro, it happens. <laughs> It happens. It happens, bro. What bro, did I do to break it? Bro, you was speeding. The... Bro, we that got makes... video evidence first of you all, speeding, First of all, that makes no sense. You beat on your car doing 120. The fastest I went was 75. So how does that make any sense? Bro, you was going so slow it broke the car. <laughs> you said it was going fast. Bro, I'm just kidding, guys. So, I'm just playing. You know, right, oh. you know, the check engine light. It's not your fault. I know it's not my fault. So guys. you definitely still have to pay for it, though. Why? <laughs> Let me drive your Subaru right now. Hell no, guys. That shit really that gone. That shit definitely gone. But listen, y'all. Remember when I told you guys that there was a fix for this problem? But I don't know if it's going to uh, void my warranty. I don't know what it's going to do. So if any Corvette owners are out there, any people who knows about Corvettes, and I have a 2017 Corvette Z06 2LZ, you know, it has the heat soaking problem, the, the overheating problem. You know, we told you why it overheats. It overheats because the, the anti coolant, whatever it is, doesn't kick into 200, you know, 200 degrees and the car overheats at 230. So that makes no fucking sense. But we found this right here. So LG Motorsports has this kit right here that's $3,500, which is probably gonna be way more because I need all this extra stuff. So the kit's $3,500 and it comes with more, you know, just more ways to cool the car down. You basically see this, this, and this. So this is the solution to my problems right here, which is it's not a cheap solution. You know what I'm saying? It's 3,500 plus getting it installed, Plus the getting shipping. the shipping, bumper painted, you know, just a lot of stuff that goes into it. So we're honestly looking at like a six, seven thousand dollar, you know, mod at the end of the day. And this is not a mod that I want to do. I'm gonna keep real with you. There's so many other I want to do the exhaust, the rims, you know, so much other shit that are, you know, the um, I said downpipe, what I'm tripping, freaking headers, um, X pipe. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do to the car that might have to wait because I have to do this now. So I will do this mod. I'm not complaining about the money, but. I'm going to do this mod if Corvette, GM, Chevrolet, whatever, 
lets me stay under warranty because this is their problem. This is their fault. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to talk to the GM. I'm going to talk to them and see what they say because I'm going to be spending six, seven grand on this and basically not getting no performance. I mean, it's going to breathe better, which is going to drive, you know, cooler and faster. But this is really not the best fucking mod in the world. Like, it's not. You know, there's so many other mods that I really want to do besides this. And I can't drive the shit out of my car without a check edge light coming on or, you know, and I'm not complaining about the car. You know, God's blessed me in many different ways. Like I said, there's people that aren't able to afford this car. There's people who work their whole lives to get this car. So by no means I'm complaining. But one, I should have did my more research on the car before I bought it. All I know is I wanted a Corvette and it was a 2017. It was a great deal. You know what I'm saying? I got it, but I should have got an 18 because they fixed this heat soaking problem. But it is what it is. We're going to roll with the punches. Life throws you freaking lemons. I'll make lemonade. I'm going to make lemonade and make a car faster, make it breathe better. So I just want to get this. And um, well, first, I want to go pick up my car and see what they say about the heat soaking problem, the overheating. I'm going to see what they say. And I'm, I'm, I know it's going to happen again because it happened multiple times. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I think I'm not stupid. The freaking Corvette dealer is going to clear the code say, yeah, we fixed it. Say, you know, that's what they always do. Yeah, we fixed it. Fixed it. I'm going to go back and do the same thing. It's going to turn on again. I'm going to take it to them. I'm like, bro, listen, do the same shit you did the first time. You ain't do nothing to the damn car. You know what I'm saying? Keep real with them, bro. Like, it's overheating. You know what I'm saying? So, I have the solution. You know, if, the, you know, either they want to freaking pay for it for me <laughs> or just keep me under warranty. Keep me under warranty. I have bumper, bumper, power train. I have the whole nine-year-old warranty. So, if they will keep me under that warranty, I'm down to do this myself. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the goal. Would extend the warranty and do this. Yeah, even though this shit's gonna avoid warranty, I have to do with cabs and shit, but I, you know, certain shit that I need to stay on the warranty. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens. I'll let you know when the dealership calls me to pick up the car. Who knows? I don't know where, well, you know, where it's gonna go, where it's gonna be, but just know the car changing like came on, and you know we're in the process of fixing it. And Faye broke it. So, <laughs> but <laughs> this is the end of the video, guys. I'm actually gonna take my little brother jet skiing. So stay tuned for that. It's first gonna be super all, lit. We are mad lit. Jet skiing, nigga. Come over here, fat. Let me talk to you real quick. Let me punch you in your face real quick. Come here. No, I don't want to punch my face. Come talk to daddy. No, Come here. I'm having, I'm having a lovely time. I don't want to punch my Come face. Come here. <laughs> We're going jet skiing. I'm taking my little shithead jet skiing. Or he's taking me jet skiing. We're going to have some fun. So stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. Fatty's going to go right into a jet ski and flip <laughs> right in the water. Boom, 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 boom. I'm calling it. I love you guys. And I'm a dolphin. I'm a ride a dolphin. I love you guys. Peace. We jump on the back and we ride. This girl ain't leaving my side. She holding me down, holding me down. Loving